Hello Youtubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna reopen a case, we're gonna reopen a mystery of the Klerksdorf spheres or the Moki marbles. Uh, I thought actually, I wouldn't, I mean, I, I thought that I dismissed the case, uh, the last video that I did, but I had a couple of questions more from uh, my followers on, on YouTube. And these questions were like, um, I didn't check if the, the marbles were magnetic at all. So that's the first one. And the second one is that I slice it on what could be the seam of the, 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 the marbles. So this time I bought some more and we're gonna slice through uh, perpendicularly to, to the line, to the grooves. And, and then there is also another aspect of the situation, a, a new twist is that uh, a doctor from Poland, working at the University of Warsaw, uh, Septon Monika Koperska, uh, she contacted me on YouTube uh, with the interest of those marbles and she asked me to send her a specimen so she could actually use the equipment of, a, of uh, she could use the equipment of the um, university uh, to actually investigate the composition of the marbles and also the structure within. So I was actually I was quite thrilled of, of the proposal. So after that I slice today this uh, marble, I will send it to her and then we will wait for her feedback and her findings and I'm gonna publish another video to inform you what was the outcome. So with that with that information probably we're gonna be able to dismiss any funny theories or you know many things so otherwise we're gonna confirm some funny uh, theories who knows stay tuned I'm gonna uh, present you the new marbles I bought and uh, and then we go through the, the slicing again and so we see you will see actually out of the slicing once I finished I open it there in front of you so you can have a look at what we find and we're gonna do some tests about magnetism onto it and um, I'm also, I bought, I bought me a microscope and so I would like also to make some pictures to shoot some, some pictures of the shell outside and uh, what others look inside so let's go through it again guys this is uh, an interesting issue all right let's see let's find out I present you the new bar marbles now okay here we have them New Maki Marble Marbles, there you go. We got also a very cute one here, you can see. Look at the groom, so very nice. Somebody asked me, they might be interested in having one. So you can ask them to me, I'm gonna send them to you if you, you know, we can uh, agree on the price, how many you want. And uh, yeah, I can send it through everywhere in the world, it's not a problem. This is one. That's another, another one, different shape. It's quite interesting, they're all different. We got another one here. Okay. And this is the biggest one, it's uh, the one I actually want to send to Monica for the test. Because it's the biggest. So we're gonna slice this instead of on this direction as before, we slice it like that. And we're gonna see in there with the microscope to see if we can find any seam. Alright. But now we do the first test which is uh, um, magnetism. We're gonna see if they emit any magnetic field at all. And then we try to pick them up with a magnet to see it actually react to any magnetic field. So let's do it. Uh, for this uh, for this test, we're gonna use iPhone with um, with an application which actually measures the magnetic field. This is uh, a magnet from a broken speaker, just to show you that actually works. As you can see, the thing moves. Okay. Now check first that if the marble itself has any magnetic field around. So, as you can see, the meter doesn't move at all. 
so they're not magnetic okay and now we check at the same time if a magnet can pick them up at all and no reaction no reaction whatsoever you see it's not a stable equilibrium so if there would be any magnetic reaction it would move but there is no magnetic attraction all right now that we swing the magnet around it we're gonna see if the stone can be induced in any magnetic field and not that's not the case again all right so now we show that these stones they don't hold they don't hold a magnetic field and they cannot they, they are not magnetic in any case all right let's go now to slice it in a half and uh, yeah and then we see if there is any seam anywhere and we have a look at a close-up to the texture of the stone itself through a microscope okay, this is a diamond coated blade they used to cut always uh, any stone with it and it's continuously lubricated and cooled by a stream of I mean uh, water so let's cut through Okay, so this lies it. The content is sandy. But uh, let's have a better look uh, elsewhere. Well, I got a quick update for you. Um, I slice through the mucky marbles and I start putting underneath the, the microscope and actually I find out that um, there are microfibers in there and they look organic which help to keep together the sand and these fibers they look like uh, to be present uh, in the shell and also in the inside uh, sand so I just wanted to uh, give you a quick update as I'm amazed about this so I'm gonna show you now the pictures and uh, what I find inside and I also try to scrape one with the, you know those tools for the teeth, the very sharp ones, the scaler? Yes, you can see that as I scrape uh, one of them, uh, actually they tangle around it, they're kind of sticky. Now it could be because of the, the tool, but the tool I cleaned it. So, I don't know, the uh, they, they actually tangle around the, 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 the scaler and you can see that um, they actually keep together the, the sand inside. So I'm very much amazed and I wonder if uh, those fibers are from some kind of animal. At this point, uh, even the, the, the chance that uh, those balls are through, I don't know, like uh, fur balls or weird uh, fur balls or some uh, scut from some animal because I actually didn't expect to find some fibers inside at all. I thought it was something uh, which could happen through volcanoes or through like wind blowing up things and and uh, you know some mechanical mean like without the help of any animal and since the fibers are still uh, flexible inside it actually suggests that I'm even not so old so old I might be wrong I'm I don't I don't have that kind of knowledge about these things but I mean I'm very amazed and uh, I would like to I'm actually looking forth to understand and to know more once I send these pieces to this lady in Poland 
to see what kind of uh, you know if she can put the, the piece underneath an electron uh, a microscope to see nicely and to understand what uh, what's going on inside of these balls. So uh, let me show you the pictures and a little video of the scraping of these things. Enjoy it. you guys enjoyed the video uh, stay tuned for the next video about these things and um, God bless you see you next time bye bye